it doesn't feel like these are going to be showing your it's okay maybe all right, you guys, I got some bad news. The intro song got copyrighted. I know I'm so sorry if you wanted to twerk right now. My apologies. We'll get it fixed. We'll get a new one. What's, what's up? All right, enjoy the video. Hey, guys, what's up? Okay, so today, <laughs> what are we doing today? Today, I'm going to be doing a little try-on haul of the Forever 21 and Baby Fat collection. I really didn't think I was ever going to be saying that, but I'll never say never. In middle school, it was all about baby fat. I was all about baby fat, fat farm, rock aware, had the South Pole backpack, just the whole thing, apple bottom, couldn't afford juicy, but maybe the perfume. So I was very, very excited to see online that they were going to be collaborating with Forever 21 since it is a little more affordable and I'm like, all right, I'm about to be snatching things up left and right. I'm just going to show you what I personally got. I'm going to do a little try on so you can see everything. Let's get it popping. Okay, so first things first, I have the shirt on that I have on right now, which is like like a velour tracksuit type of material. It's a little tube top. I got this one in black and in pink as well, which I'll show you in just a minute. And it cost $14.90. First things first, this needed to have a matching short set with it. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. It needed to have a matching short set or else. Like, what's the point of having a nice little velour top if you don't have a matching short set? You know what I'm saying? Like the profit there could have been heavy in my mind. Throw a little baby fat on the butt cheeks. Like it could have been magnificent, okay? That's all that I have to say about that. The actual tube top itself fits well. I love tube tops. They're just very easy. This is very much like the style of something that I would have worn back then. And yes, I was like 13. I did get the pink top as well. And it's the exact same thing, same price point, all that. Uh, 1490 everything that I got is a size small just to let you know this is super cute I don't wear a ton of pink but when I do it's like a feeling it's like I'm a different person when I'm in pink like if I do like a little pink sweatsuit moment like brand new like who is she brand new I would have also loved if these were rhinestone as well especially the pink one I just think it'd be really like like I said, not even my style, but like I love it, you know, like I love it. There was a couple rhinestone items that they did have, like a like a little just plain t-shirt, like a little small t-shirt. I don't know why I didn't get that because that's exactly what I wear. Small white t-shirts, like we've talked about this before. I love small white t-shirts. I don't know why I didn't get the rhinestone t-shirt. I didn't get any, any sweatshirts at all, by the way. It is 100 degrees where I live. No sweatshirts around here. Even if I was going to wear it in the winter time, I don't like to prepare for stuff like that. Like it's a long ways away. The next little set that I got was the black biker short and top set. I mostly liked this because of the fact that it had the one shoulder strap. I think it's cute. Definitely not in like the original spirit of like a baby fat outfit. It definitely gives me like 2019 version of baby fat style. The top was $14.90, just like this top right here. It's got the exact same embroidery, the white, just regular embroidery. Gold could have been cool too. A lot of the old baby fat stuff did have a lot of gold, which I'm into. Bye-bye, I love you. Bye. The bottoms were $17.90. I usually wouldn't even pay $17.90 for a pair of biker shorts. I'm not gonna lie to you because I just don't really care about biker shorts that much. These are what the bottoms look like right here. They really just fit like a regular pair of biker shorts. The logo is just the same, the white. It's like a little two-piece set. I was kind of nervous that because the seam was in the front, it would give you like a little bit of camel toe action. It doesn't, which is good. Much appreciated. They're not very stretchy. Like they don't have a ton of give. But the material does feel solid. It doesn't feel like these are going to be showing your ass, okay? Maybe. I guess you really don't know until you go in the daylight, honestly. <laughs> then we have the leopard biker shorts. This one also came in an outfit set as well, but I did not get the top because I just didn't really like it. This is the exact same price so as the other pants, $17.90. And it's got the OG little logo, the gold. These ones do have a lot more stretch to them than the black pair which even though they're basically the exact same biker short, like the exact same pair, the material's different. Did I ever think I would need to own a leopard pair of biker shorts in my life? Probably not, but I am a little bit tacky and I'm kind of into tacky a little bit, if you haven't noticed from my makeup looks. I think this was the only item that I'm not very happy with and the one item that I was going to be very happy with in my mind. 
I just don't like the way it fits. It's like if you were to wash a piece of clothing and then not dry it and just let it air dry and it gets like floppy. And you might be thinking like, Ashley, not everything has to be super tight. Like, we know your boobs aren't that big, we get it. It probably just doesn't fit you that well. But no, if it's weird, like it's baggy, it's like, it doesn't really hit at a place that makes sense. I might have to end up tying it off to the side or do like the old school thing we used to do and tie it in the back. Like we used to tie in the back a lot and you like fold it under and it was, it was like a little look. Not everything was sold in crop top version like how it is now. Until I got into like the eighth grade, there was no skinny jeans. Like skinny jeans weren't an existing thing. Um, all jeans were pretty much just like straight and then we used to take rubber bands, like a regular rubber band and put it on the bottom of the pants and then you fold it under with your baby fat shirt on. And that was a look. But long story short, this doesn't fit properly. Okay, if there was anything from the collection that really reads baby fat to me and gives me like a little throwback vibe, it is this set right here. So this is the skirt and tube top set. The top was $14.90. Like I said, everything's kind of like the same price. This is the tube top right here. I swear to you, I think I had a shirt almost just like this. But like I said, not everything was cropped back then. So it was like a full length and it had the drawstrings on the side and it was red. This is exactly how the logos were. Like they always had this logo print all over. The skirt is just like a basic mini skirt. It's $17.90 just like the other bottoms. I don't think I really own any skirts like this specifically, just like the standard material. Um, Cause I just don't wear skirts that much. You know, like I have kids. So it's hard to be like jumping around doing stuff in a skirt. It's the exact same logo print. Will I wear these together as a look? Absolutely. It's got a little stretch to it. The elastic band in the waist feels pretty nice. Everything fits pretty comfy. So I'm digging it. So as far as my thoughts on the collection, affordability wise, obviously very affordable. It is a collaboration with Forever 21. I think all in all, I spent like 150. I got eight pieces, I wanna say. Definitely not bad. I got a few looks out of it. We'll have a few different things to wear. It is a little Forever 21-ish. Like as far as like everything's really just like a logo put on another piece of clothing. It's not really like a, ooh, like a style type of thing. Like I said, I would have loved to see a velour tracksuit or like a velour set, like a, like a top like this and a bottom or even like a, Tiny jacket, oh, I lived for tiny jacket. And the zipper was always like the logo, like the little cat would be the zipper. But I usually wore like a little tank top under it for full length because I was still kind of young. Maybe like a chain belt with the baby fat logo or that says baby fat itself. I think this is nice to get us back to like memory lane from what I think and from what I heard, baby fat's gonna be coming back. But I just saw that on Twitter, so I'm not 100% sure. But if so, that would be really cool to see them come back and do some other little pieces. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Let me know down below if you ended up purchasing any of the items or what you thought of the entire collection. I usually don't purchase a lot of things from the Forever 21 collaborations. I think a couple things are cool, like Juicy Couture, Playboy, like doing those kinds of collaborations are cool because it gives you like a little bit of a throwback vibe. Barbie, NASCAR. What was it? FedEx or USPS? One of those. That's not, that's not it. Okay, that's not it for me. Anyways, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.